August 1975, with a 1.6-litre Toyota Corolla, Hanno Mikola outstrips the two-litre competition at the Thousand Lakes Rally in Finland to clinch Toyota's first victory in a World Championship Rally. August 1997, Toyota's World Rally car based on the 97 model Corolla will make its debut at the Rally Finland. After a number of successful years with the Celica, it's now the new Corolla's turn to claim further rally victories for Toyota. Marketing strategy and technical innovation played a key role. The Corolla is a, is a world car, it's sold everywhere throughout the world and if we are, by using that we will get a better effect of the of the activity i mean it will be effective in more countries and also of course because it's a smaller car it's a lighter car less overhangs front and rear and uh, the driver position is more favorable to to get a good view of the road it will be more suitable for pick up the success from the celica toyota's rally workshop in cologne the largest in the world here, the Toyota Team Europe has the task of turning the Corolla Compact into a thoroughbred rally car. The workshops and design offices have already shown what they're capable of with two wins in the World Championship for manufacturers. Today, TTE is regarded as a pioneering development center for all areas of automotive engineering. The team has more than 200 highly qualified employees from 16 nations. A group of 12 under the supervision of Dagobert Röhrer began work on the Corolla project in January 1996. Twelve specialists for engine, bodywork, drivetrain, electronics, hydraulics and measuring technology, whose job was to optimally exploit the possibilities of the new rally regulations. The World Rally Car Regulations is a modification of the Group A regulation. Basic is still the Group A regulation but it's modified by a certain possibility in a kit that has to be presented in, uh, in 20 pieces and gives you more freedom than you had in the Group A regulations. In principle, the World Rally car is based on the road version of the Corolla Compact. However, the regulations allow body shell modifications, the most important being larger wheel arches, a wider track, a higher tunnel for four-wheel drive and space for the rear differential. At each of the various processing stages, the rigidity of the body shell is tested on the torsion test bench. In addition, the effects of the modifications are calculated by computer. The result is a tremendously stable body shell, able to withstand the extreme demands of any rally. In order to accommodate the wider track, the longer spring deflection and McPherson suspension with Erlin shock absorbers, new widened wings were designed. The contours of the plaster model are measured and optimized to hundreds of a millimeter to provide a digitized data record for the CAD design phase. The final stage in development of the body shell, designing the safety cage according to the stringent FIA specifications. Completely new from the development is uh, what we call central hydraulic. I mean, we have different uh, hydraulic uh, function parts, mainly in the powertrain side, like regulated front diff, regulated center diff, possibility for regulated rear diff. The regulations allow two-wheel drive vehicles to be converted to four-wheel drive. The torque on the rear axle is controlled via a hang-on clutch, an electronically controlled system which, at the moment, links the rear axle to the front axle. One of the main aims of the TTE engineers was to make sure that the entire powertrain, as well as the brakes and steering, could be supplied via a single hydraulic pump. Cooperation between all the various TTE departments is extremely close, guaranteeing optimum coordination and communication during the development phase. 
Hundreds of individual parts had to be specially designed for the Rally Corolla, and many of them were manufactured in the workshops. The prototype in a one-to-one -one wind tunnel. Aerodynamics and weight distribution are key factors in modern rallying. The Corolla has a front to rear weight distribution of 54.6 to 45.4 with the driver and co-driver on board. The forces acting on the front and rear spoilers have to be balanced out. Both are allowed as additional accessories on World Rally cars, though size and position is strictly specified. An optimal airflow through the engine compartment is also essential to guarantee adequate cooling at all speeds. Every component has been perfectly distributed in the compact car. With its low center of gravity, short overhangs and good aerodynamics, the Corolla is the most maneuverable car TTE has ever built. The Corolla is powered by a further development of the 2-liter 3S GTE engine. With the freedom of the new FIA regulations, designers can modify the intake and exhaust gas manifolds as well as the flywheel, the transverse mounted turbo engine develops tremendous torque. We have to use as well the restrictor, the same as Gobay. The diameter is 34 millimeters. The difference to the old Celica engine is we're looking that we get more power in the high revs. That the driver can use more this engine in higher revs that you have all the time a very, very long power band. The TTE electronics department developed a number of new intelligent hard and software systems for the Corolla. We have a so-called power management now, which is uh, regulating all our electronic devices. If you have, for example, a problem in the battery side or in the alternator side, then this power management system is intelligent enough to realize how much energy is still necessary that the car is running and is then switching off step by step all the other components. Extensive electronic measuring equipment which records masses of data during the test phase and during actual rallying allows every detail to be precisely analyzed and perfected. This system features 39 inputs and we have sometimes two, three or more system in each test car. The reason for that is to record all the data from the chassis, from the engine. We have different serial links to the control units, engine control and gearbox control and so on. The electrical and electronic components are assembled in the electric and measurement department. For all important elements of the vehicle, there are specially developed electronic control systems. This system, for example, is for the brake distribution. The next one is the hang-on clutch system, also including with the CFD, the front control diff. This one is for the straight shift, and the last is the in-house developed measurement system. A major highlight is the six-speed sequential gearbox. Developed by TTE and built by X-Track, it shifts the gears electronically via a joystick. You can shift gear in less than half the time like in manual. You have a small lever beside the steering wheel. With the lever you give an impulse up or down and uh, this impulse is going to an electronic box and from the electronics box then it's realizing if it's upshifting you shift without clutch so that means you have an, igni an ignition cut if it's downshifting you activate an hydraulic system which is then activating the clutch hydraulic wise and uh, you activate also uh, hydraulic wise the gear to be moved in, in, in the gearbox
a year of development work. The result, a functional car that's simple to drive and easy to service, which is why the Corolla is already being touted among customers and private teams alike as a hot favourite on the world's rally circuits. Over 24 million Corollas have been sold to date, more than any other car in the world. The new rally version presents the Corolla from its sporty side. And nowhere can the solid and dynamic image of Toyota's bestseller be shown to better effect than in the World Rally Championship. January 1997, TTE engineers put their new toy through its paces. In the beginning was the idea, now it's reality. You put in a lot of energy for one year, now the car is rolling. It's a mixture of joy, it's a mixture of proud, it's a mixture of being released, but it's also, let's say, a thought in the future, because now comes the next step, you have to bring it to performance. And there's only one way to do that, a repetitive cycle of tests and improvements. The first test phase starts in February. The car has to prove it can fulfill the engineer's expectations. In the tough world of rallying, there's no room for compromise when it comes to performance. The Belgian driver, Freddy Loix, is the first to take the wheel. The drivers, too, have to familiarise themselves with the car, especially the new method of shifting gears takes some getting used to. However, the advantages are evident. always can drive nearly with the two hands on the steering wheel and it's uh, in the long corners you can change the gear in the corner. Uh, the biggest difference between this car and the Celica car is that this car is much more handlinger and the seat position in the car is much better than the Celica. The first basic test that we did, we want to get known about the car. How is the car reacting? Is it possible with uh, changes in suspension-wise to change the behavior of the car, to get it neutral, to get it oversteer, to get it understeer? And after that, then we went to a circuit just to have a first settle down of the car to see if it's, if it's possible to go 20, 30, 40 k's, which is not so normal with a brand new car in the beginning. In the subsequent tests, the team mainly concentrates on the powertrain and running gear. The car has fully come up to expectations. It was a, a big question mark, will we be better than with the chili car? Uh, so we did a comparison test and it was very promising. We were 0.7 seconds per kilometre quicker on tarmac and nearly one second quicker on, on gravel. The test program continues, this time in sunny Greece. The heat and extreme gravel tracks are ideal for pushing the rally car to its limits. A gruelling test, especially for the engine. World Rally Champion Didier Oriol and co-driver Denis Chiraudet plow through the gravel to give the engineers a clear idea of just how robust and powerful the Corolla really is. For the first time, the car feels uh, very easy to drive immediately. It takes uh, less